James Busta Douglas was born April 7, 1960. He is the son of professional boxer William Dynamite Douglas. Douglas grew up in Columbus, Ohio, in the neighborhood of Windsor Terrace. He attended Lyndon McKinley High School, where he played football and basketball. He led Lyndon to a Class AAA State Basketball Championship in 1977. Douglas made his professional debut on 31 May 1981, defeating Dan O'Malley in a fourth round fight. He won his first five fights before eventually being knocked out by David Bay, 20 pounds heavier than his usual weight division. He went on to win six more fights before drawing with Stefan Tankston. On November 9th, Douglas was scheduled to fight heavyweight contender Trevor Berbick in Las Vegas. Berbick pulled out with about three days before it was scheduled and Randall Tex Cobb elected to take the fight in Berbick's place. He defeated Tex in a majority decision on November 9th, 1984. This proved Douglas was one of the better young fighters of his age. Mike Tyson and James Douglas were scheduled to fight on February 11, 1990 and took place in Tokyo, Japan. Tyson was the heavyweight champion at the time so it was assumed to be a quick and easy knockout. Going into the fight, Tyson was undefeated and undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. Many considered this to be a warm up for Tyson's next fight with undefeated heavyweight contender Evan de Holyfield. Douglas faced ma many major setbacks leading up to the fight such as the death of his mother 23 days beforehand and the illness of his mother of his child the day before the fight. From the moment the bell sounded, it was apparent that Douglas wasn't afraid. He showed enthusiasm, had a spring in his step and made quick easy movements to get away from Tyson's powerful blows. He showed no caution in throwing punches at the champion. After a poor third round, Tyson's corner man Jay Bray screamed at the fighter, don't just stand there and look at him, you've got to work, boxer Sugar Ray Leonard, at ringside doing commentary for HBO, noted Douglas's dominance with the jab and right hand and said Tyson was having one of those occasional days in the ring where you just don't have it, things just don't click in.